Brian Laundrie's autopsy was inconclusive, and the fugitive's bones will now be sent to an anthropologist who will try to determine how he died. The development comes two days after the 23-year-old's remains were discovered next to his backpack and notebook in a Florida wilderness park near his parents' North Port home. His body was identified through dental records Thursday. No manner or cause of death was determined, and the remains were sent to an anthropologist for further evaluation, Laundry family lawyer Steve Bertolino told The Post Friday. Laundry's remains were found in a swampy area of the Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park that was recently underwater and is home to alligators and wild pigs. Anthropologists were also deployed to analyze the body of Gabby Petito, Laundry's girlfriend who was found strangled to death in a Wyoming National Park last month. Forensic anthropologists are called upon when the environment has ravaged or removed the soft tissue, Dr. Heather Walsh Haney told WPBF News. Soft tissue markers that the forensic pathologist would use. Laundry's parents Chris and Roberta led law enforcement to the park Wednesday after a month-long manhunt for the person of interest in Petito's murder failed to turn up any viable leads. My understanding was it either opened to the public on Tuesday or Wednesday, and Chris and Roberta decided that since it was open, they wanted to go and look for Brian by themselves, Bertolino told NBC News Thursday. After speaking with me, I told him that I wanted to notify law enforcement so that we would have no issue. The Laundries have been villainized by protesters and Petito's Long Island family for not being forthcoming about the missing person cases involving their son or the slain 22-year-old woman. Bertolino said they stayed tight-lipped at his request and did not help their son evade police. Whatever happened or whatever didn't happen, this is tragic for two families. And anybody with a child and anybody with a sense of humanity can understand the frustration that both families feel on that point, the lawyer said.